And they're win Republicans are winning, I mean, to John's point. Well, I mean, only Rick Scott can, can answer that. And I think there's, if you look at the numbers, um, there is no logical reason why they're reacting this way unless they know something that we don't know yet. Uh, about what's gone on in Broward County. But the reality is the vote should be counted. We can, you know, this, the senators aren't seated until uh, January. There's plenty of time. I think the really insidious thing, though, is um, what Trump is doing. He's basically trying to undermine at every turn. It's not just Florida. He weighed in on Arizona. Mm -hmm. he, he's weighed in on other races. He's undermining the legitimacy of elections. Where he and doesn't like the results. Where, where he doesn't like the results. And that is a hallmark of a failing democracy, of someone moving towards an authoritarian, where he says, fake news, don't believe what you see, only believe what I say. That is very troubling. And, you know, as, as one of my old bosses famously said, the fish rots from the head. And all of the, he's providing cover for all of these people to say outrageous things, you know, and, and people who have no standing. I, I watched Mr. Blackwell uh, on your air uh, 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 theorizing about this. He doesn't know anything. Yeah. He knows nothing about what's going on in Florida, yet he's out there on a national stage saying that there's voter fraud. There is none. There's no evidence of and then it. When and press, we, we got to stop letting these people, you know, you know. Well, I mean, I think what's interesting but, is that when Joe, press, he I doesn't think, provide I, evidence.